What's going on clan? AD here. Welcome back to another adventure with the Blood Prince, a dark high vampire whose mission is to conquer the world. In the previous episode, over here at Castle Blood, we've been uh, building out a few more things. We've got more crafting stations built after having to replace this entire building because it wasn't level. So now we start, we've started to get a few people on some of the benches here, making some armor plating and various uh, resources that we need to craft weapons, armor, and gear. The Vandal Squad is almost over here to the ship graveyard. They've been swimming for a very long time, but uh, they're going to be assaulting this graveyard and see, see what's over here. Um, as they make their way back to Castle Blood, we've got Silent with a bunch of ancient science books and engineering research, things that we need uh, to, to further out, uh, to further research some of the things we have left here. So if you want to see more Kenshi in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. The Blood Prince has decided that he wants to assault Facility 013. I think they might have some more engineering research and ancient science books. And if we assault this and the Vandals make their way back to uh, Castle Blood, Mr. Jack will be able to run back to Hope and hopefully, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, hopefully be able to, I don't know, maybe research uh, high-tech defensive walls or at least get Steel Bars 3, which would be nice. I'm going to have one of our uh, one of our Scorchlanders, Grim. He's going to start, he's going to be our weapon crafter. And I'm going to make a shiv and repeat this. The shiv is very small and one thing I like to do is start with a weapon that doesn't take up a lot of space and it takes the longest amount of time to make because it's not how many weapons you craft it's how long you're crafting to gain your skill so Grim is going to go around get supplies we've got fabrics being made here in our fabric looms and um, yeah, we don't have that many but it'll be enough to get them started and I think we have some armor plating. And yeah, we've got steel bars up there. We got steel bars down here. We've got enough to get started, at least. And I actually took Rebel off her job for a minute so that uh, we could get a little bit, get some more iron plates kind of stocked up. Then we'll send her back to doing that. Okay, so Grim is going to get started. And it looks like. The resources are going to, um, they're going to be there for a little while, so I think he'll be fine. Um, he's already gaining weapon smithing really fast, and he has a bonus to that. So you want to try to have characters that have bonuses and assign them to jobs that they have an XP bonus. So uh, I've got Raven over here also making some copper alloy plates. The other thing I wanted to do is actually dismantle these multi-barrel harpoon turrets because the reason why is these aren't going to work and the reason is that the turret gunners do not fire at people that are in the water unless you manually do it which is kind of a bummer but it seems like that's gonna be how it is if they automatically fired on the people swimming in the acid that would be great but we kind of have to manually do that. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to put one, like, put two up here. But I don't think I can actually build a ramp. See, I could build a ramp there. And I could put a turret. I don't even think I could put turrets here, to be honest. Let me, let me go to defense. Yeah, I can't I can't even put one there. Um Yeah, if anything what we need to do is put these multi-barrel harpoon turrets like maybe maybe over here a little ways cuz the, the problem is is that they're they're close to the acid and anybody manning this thing is just going to get attacked right away and they're not even going to be able to shoot the turret. So I don't know. I, I just... I really want to use those, but... I mean, it would be good to put turrets up here. But...
but see, we'd have to build the walls inwards to be able to fire, uh, fire the other direction, which is doable. All right, I figured this out. So I actually put down a swamp lookout tower, and uh, I'm gonna build around it and enclose it so that we can get to it, but nobody else can. So we'll put three multi-barrel harpoon turrets up here, and that will allow them to basically just bl uh, shoot the shit out of everybody over here. <laughs> we could also do the same thing on the other side, but I think we'll just put one, because we have, we have two towers up here, and um, yeah, so three, three more turret gunners, and that should be fine. And hopefully they're high enough that uh, they can hit their targets. Which I think they will be. We won't upgrade these walls. We'll keep these short. And yeah, that looks good. A little bit different. There we go. Nice. We're going to need copper alloy plates, which we don't really have a lot of. Good thing we got somebody over here. Let's see. I think it's... Let's see, no, Ash is making chainmail sheets. Let's see, do we have storage for that? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of chainmail sheets. Let's see, Dario is making armor plating. And over here we've got Raven. Raven's making the copper alloy plates. Okay. We'll get Rebel back over here making steel bars. So we're going to have quite a few armor crafters. We've already got 16 armor crafting with uh, Ash. And so I basically have them start out making all of these uh, resources that we need to actually make the armor. That way, when we actually make armor, they're making the best stuff instead of starting out making armor because it's going to be prototype gear and it's not even worth worth the time. So we just have them do the plate beating bench. Dario's probably already up to... 15 armor smithing. Nice. And Grim is already up to 9 weapon smithing. We've got Victor in hand over here. Still making uh, raw copper. We're going to need a lot of that. And Celine is going around putting in uh, putting in cotton and, and hemp. I've only got just Fane over here working the mines. And we got plenty of... Wow, we got plenty of building materials still. I think T-Lord actually grabbed a bunch. Yeah, he's got a bunch of building supplies on him right now. I'm just dreading the Skin Bandit raid because they're all immune to acid. And they're going to send probably a hundred of them. So we need to be ready for that. The Vandals have made it over here to Green Beach. And this is the ship graveyard. Let's take a look here. What are these guys? Giants. We got giants over here feasting on a a drifter. These guys are pretty weak though. Except for this guy. Who's this? The wall. Interesting. Okay, well, I think we'll be able to take them out. Yeah, I think we're gonna wipe the floor with these guys. It's full assault. Let's take this guy out. The wall. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. I got Biggins overweight here. I'll have to... Figure something out with him. Steven in the, in the battle here. Oh! Nice, Patrick. Eilie. Redmane just going in. Full send. Get in there, red main. Take them all. Nice swings, dude. Lady Sharky. She's just holding the overseer and crushing people. I also gave her the uh, the armor that Pixel was using. Ooh, Hazard taking a beating. Come on, man. Oh, hazards down. Okay, not bad. Oh, pixel, pixel with the save. Oh, 
Hell yeah, man. Crush these giants. We got Steven over here making sure they don't escape. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Where's that wall guy? Let's see, Pixel, get over here. Let's find him. Is it him? Maybe this guy. Here's a Jotun champion over here. This guy's got tons of food on him. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what they have. Anything to steal? They're just a bunch of cannibals. They were eating this guy. Wait a minute. Does this guy have a robotic limb? No. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything useful here. Damn. Well, the vandals are going to keep swimming back to shore. They got a long swim ahead of them. Since we haven't gotten attacked lately, the, the Blood Prince is going to lead his squad over here to assault. Facility 13. We saw that a couple episodes ago. Um, but I think they're they're going to have some uh, engineering research or ancient science books that we can use. So we're going to head over there and see if we can conquer them. Maybe take back a couple prisoners. I don't know. Uh, we've got Sir Jamie. Matriarch Gnu. I really want to see Gnu in action. We got Malcolm as well. Some people that we haven't taken in a while. T-Lord and Jeebus is, are on the squad. Um, so they can get some combat in. T-Lord is getting a break from engineering work. I've got Mr. Jack and Agnew covering for uh, T-Lord right now. I'm also going to need to start hunting gorillos and other animals so that we can get animal skins. We're going to need a lot of those for crafting as well. So that we can make more leather. Getting attacked by a beak thing here. Let's have... Uh... Yeah, Sir Jamie, why don't you take this thing out? You gotta get some training in. There you go. I really like the look of this skeleton. It looks like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, we got a nest here. Oh. Tons of beak thing eggs. All right, hold on. Everybody come back. We're going to have to fight this. Good job, Jamie. Let's see. He doesn't have a uh, repair kit or anything. Well, you can have one of the blood princes. He's got plenty. Yeah, let's take out this nest. Everybody off of hold. Do your thing. We'll go around and collect all the uh, animal skins, too. Alright, let's see Gnu in action here with the Leviathan Slayer. Ho! Oh! 300... Good lord! 475 damage! Oh my god. <laughs> God dang, that is insane. Wow. Oh, I got T-Lord on passive. Whoops, my bad. Alright, cool. Let's have Benno go around and loot all of these. Alright, we've got plenty of beak thing eggs. We've got tons of animal skins. Hell yeah. I always wanted to see what use strength does. Let's have uh, Gnu come over here and use her strength to open this gate. I just want to see how that works. Use strength. Shackles broken. Okay. Damn. She <laughs> Gnu will be able to open anything. 
Alright, if I remember correctly, there was a lot of men in here. Let's take a look again. So Jamie, why don't you do the honors? Okay, here we go. We got a lot of... A lot of people in here. This is going to be a fun battle. Tight quarter, close quarters, so we're not going to be able to use a lot of our better weapons. We have the Overseer as well. Okay. Hell yeah. Facility-wide shutdown authorized. <laughs> Alright, let's take him out first of all. Boom, he's down. Masterwork grade ancient uh, samurai leg plates. Why not? We'll take that. Alright, let's go. Charge! Attack all men! Oh my goodness. I'm seeing lots of green here. Well done. My arms! Well, that gives me something else to test, he says. <laughs> Good lord. Gnu just destroys. guy crawling away over here. Don't let him escape, Chaos. Gnu definitely finished him off. Human skin suit. Alright, the battle is continued. Let's see, Malcolm, get your backpack off, man. Let's get Malcolm over here. Do some, do some martial arts kung fu. A lot of people upstairs. Alright, let's get upstairs. There we go. Get up there, guys. Okay, here they come. Chaos moving in. Taking five on one here. Okay, hold on a second. We're getting getting crushed in the corner here. Damn, I can't see anything with this camera. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of we're taking a beating here. Nicely done. That's her head crab with that weapon. Nice! Blofeld defending. Looks like we haven't taken out the uh, the top floor yet. Okay, we got some people down below trying to escape, I think. Where the hell? This guy's just running away. I think everybody's trying to chase him. Alright, hold on a second here. Sir Jamie up here defending. I'm shift right click so that they defend while moving here. There's Malcolm. Still got quite a few rolling around. Well done. So Jamie's stuck. Get out there. This guy's trying to get away. Alright. 
Let's move our make our way up. Shift right click. That way you guys fight while we're moving here. There you go. We'll leave Malcolm to do that. Let's keep moving up top. Yeah, I think we're we're doing okay. We got a lot of wounded though. All right, now we're facing the boss here. The overseer's just kind of standing there, just looking to see what everyone's doing. <laughs> He's not even, not even worried that an army's about to destroy him. This is great training for everyone. For some reason, I thought we weren't going to be able to use our main weapons, but it looks like we are. I guess that's only for, like, houses. Okay, we still got more of them rebooting here. Oh! Somebody's on a turret. Cyberblade, see if you can knock him out. Well, failed. Oh, the Blood Prince is gonna get him. There we go, he's down. Nice. They're not getting away. Alright, Blood Prince is gonna go 1v1 up here. Take this one out, the Overseer. Let's have everybody else get off of... Everybody else on hold here. And just kind of stay there. Alright. Here we go. This guy is pretty damn strong. Got some more fighting down here somewhere. Yeah, Jeebus is fighting. There you go. Get some training in. Cyberblade, take this one out. Don't let him get away. Back up top, the battle is continuing. See, he's got 92 defense, which makes him uh, block a lot of weapons, uh, a lot of strikes. Blood Prince has 81 attack right now. This is really good training for the Blood Prince. He needs to get stronger. He needs to get that attack, the melee attack, higher. Let him escape. Take him out, T-Lord. Got 
Got the left leg down of the Overseer. He's limping back now. He's not really able to do much to the Blood Prince, though, with the regeneration. Finally got him down. He's playing dead. He has Azuchi armor, Master Work Grade. The Overseer's Tachi. This weapon is terrible. Why the hell is he using a a crappy grade. That's funny. Well, all these guys have ancient, ancient armor. I'm not gonna take it though. All right, I think we can go off of hold now. Killed a lot of them. Take the rest of them out. I think the overseer escaped. <laughs> He's going somewhere. There's just so many of these, like, interesting looking people here. Can I, if I pick the lock, can I let them go, or? Test subject. Okay, he's friendly. I'm gonna let all the test subjects out. Oh, they're gonna loot the gear, too. They're gonna loot everybody's gear. Um, let's see, is there anything that I want to take first? Not really. We're gonna craft better gear anyway. Yeah, why not? Let him take it all. Actually, let me loot the place first. Then I'll let out all these test subjects. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Tons of ancient safes. Better be something good in here. Lab notes. That's cool. That'd be a fun read. Okay. Three ancient science books. Be Tor lab notes. It's kind of neat. They have these lab notes for various uh, test subjects. All right. So only three ancient science books so far. Wait a minute. We got a map of the Sheck Kingdom. Bugmaster's map. Hold on a second. Get back here. Go on hold, Blood Prince. Map of Shun. Matt, we got Death Map. Armories, secret holy nation documents, secret outlaw map, death map, Russ, glorious holy map. Here we go, more ancient science books, more lab notes, human teeth, not really sure I'm interested in that. For engineering research, hell yeah, that's what we needed. Holy hell, look at this, TS-45. This thing has 1.80 stealth effect, 1.50 dodge assassination. It's cloth, but this is worn by the uh, TS-34 test subject. Wow, that's wild. 
I honestly don't even know what happened to the Overseer. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, the TSO-4 is fighting back. All right, he's down. Maybe we should pick him up. Do some repairs on him. We'll take him back with us. You gotta recruit super strong people for the wars ahead. Let's go ahead and unlock all of these cages too. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, Sir Jamie. Uh, here's a guy here I can talk to, TSO7. Hey, do you think you can help me get out of here? Who are you? People used to call me the Plague Doctor, but these guys just call me TSO7. Why did they call you that? I used to work for a group of bandits called Pestilence. I was their main scientist. Interesting. What's with the outfit? My, my skills in science will be uh, invaluable to you. Sure, why not? We'll take you. We'll leave TSO7 in hope, maybe. This guy has different limbs and everything. Weak cannibal arm, Scorchlander leg. What the heck? That's hilarious. He's actually pretty damn weak, though. Oh, he's got decent strength. Terrible dexterity. But he actually has decent skills. He's got good field medic and science is 95. Heck yeah. Okay. We'll take him along. Maybe we'll... Yeah, we'll be able to rename him in Hope anyway. Rename him to somebody else. I'm gonna have Gnu uh, hold the Overseer for me. So I can uh, continue picking these locks. There we go. Seven ancient science books. Repair kits. And four more. Hell yeah, we're up to 18 ancient science books. Let's take a look at all these maps. Oh, actually, we already know all the locations and everything. Okay, well, I guess we don't need those. Just taking up space at this point. Alright, well, I think uh, we've overstayed our welcome here. We're gonna let the test subjects be. Take everybody else that we have here. I think the test subjects will be able to handle themselves. They've already outfitted themselves with weapons. And yeah, they're already beating the crap out of this guy. So, cool. Well done. We take a look, we've got six engineering research and 18 ancient science books. That was nice. The Vandals have finally made it to shore, and there's a bunch of fighting going on on this island. We got Blackbeard Pirates, and I think Pirate Brethren of some sort, and also Reavers uh, are the third party. And to top it off, we've got crabs roaming around. And then we have Corsairs. Corsair Captain. Interesting. A lot of factions over here. Oh, what's that? There's a giant town over there. Ancient oil rig. Definitely checking that out. So we got crab raiders now. Let's see, are they fighting the corsairs too? No. They're gonna ignore the corsairs and just fight us, I guess. Right away. Oh, no, wait, the Corsairs are fighting Crab Raiders. Interesting. Okay. Attack all here, gentlemen. Good lord, okay. Kind of curious who these Corsairs are. Nice, Temethor. Steven over here just destroying. No crab is gonna mess with Steven, man. <laughs> Let's take a look. Steven's attack is what? 66. Ah! 
Honestly, Lady Sharky's in, like invincible. Like <laughs> nobody can, nobody can land a hit on her. She's only got like seven wear damage this entire time. Just slaughtered that entire group of crab raiders. Except for this guy that doesn't want to die. Now we've got Groggers. Look at all this fighting. Wow, this place is madness. Okay, oh, this is a crab raider town. Crab chieftain. Whoa. 86 attack. Okay, hold on. We got crab mega crabs. Some large crabs over here. We could probably assault that. If we ever get close. Good lord, there's just so many enemies here. Alright, nice, silent. Take the fight to him. There you go. Well done. Might have to destroy this town. Crab Village. Definitely gonna need to rest first, though. Kinda wounded. The Vandals are getting attacked by Crab Raiders. We got a, a large little force here. Large little. We got a force coming at us here. Let's see if we can defend. Everybody, uh, get off of hold. Alright. Attack all here. Nice hits. we go. Nice, Steven. Crush it. Lord said in a little battle here between one of these crab raiders, Timothor getting attacked from multiple directions. Oh! Just went crushing through them. Hazard's got uh, his leg wounded here. Let's heal up. There you go. The Crab Raiders have really good armor. Uh, they have the best acid protection. Yeah, they have really good coverage, too. They have plenty of food on them. Alright, let's see. How wounded are we here? Demon Babe's left arm damaged a little bit. We're not too wounded. I think we can take out this crab town. Yeah, there's not that many of them. Well, there's quite a few crabs over that way, but if we take out this town, maybe it'll stop stop them from spawning a little bit. Cause yeah, this just they just keep on coming. There you go. Oh, now they're getting back up. Oh, somebody went chopping limbs off. I don't know where that limb went, but... <laughs> Probably went to the other continent. Alright, so it's just Red Mane with a wounded leg here. Okay. Alright, let's drop down a uh, bed, heal up, and then see if we can take out this uh, little little camp. I think this is the best we're gonna get. Let's just go in here and try and take out this town. Maybe it'll stop them from spawning, or at least give us a uh, chance to rest up in here. We gotta watch out for this crab chieftain.
Oh, there's a couple crab chieftains. Whoa! Yeah, these guys are strong. Okay. Let's do it. Silent moving in. Lady Sharky going after the crab chieftains with Pixel. There you go. Lord said moving in to uh, help out. Timothor fighting on the steps. You got uh, some large crabs now. Timothor's getting attacked from all directions, but it's okay. He can handle it. Um, looks like Eile and Silent are down, and Demon Babe as well. Okay. Damn. Pig Souls swinging wildly here. Lady Sharky not taking much damage on her. Let's see. Steven's doing okay here, helping out. Lord Said is in a duel over here with one of the uh, chieftains. Get up. Get up, Lord Said. Oh. Watch that swing. Right. Hazard is down. Patrick is hurting pretty bad, too. Okay. All right, Silent, go ahead and heal yourself. Get this guy here. Nicely done. All right, Silent, go medic. I wonder what weapon these guys are using, uh, these crab chieftains. Ouch. That is hurting Lord Said pretty good. Lord Said is punching now. <laughs> Alright, heal yourself, man. Okay. They're using Falling Suns. Beat him up, Said. Kick that guy. <laughs> Who's this guy? Crab Raider. Oh, he's down. Alright, did we lose anybody? I don't think so. Got a Corsair veteran down. Lord said, your arm is wounded pretty bad. You better stay out of this. Let's see. Everybody get on hold here. Um, let's just send in... Let's see. Timothor, Lady Sharky, and Pixel. You guys take these guys out here. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, now attack all. Alright, Silent, I think you can help out too. Okay, everybody else get inside. Biggins is down. Okay. Lady Sharky's going on a rampage. Good job, Silent. Pick up Biggins. Let's get him inside. Don't take that pixel. Alright, get up, Tim Thor. Well done. Somebody, is this guy gonna die or what? Whoa! Lady Sharky just jumped over that guy. <laughs> Looks like Redmane is down. Big Soul and Timothor. I guess we'll just keep them out there for now. There's still a lot of people inside that we gotta take out. Damn, there's just too many crabs. Alright. We'll leave Steven outside. Everybody else come back inside. Redmane is back up, cool.
See if you can close the gate. Oh, Steven is down. Damn it. There you go. Take out these chieftains. Oh, somebody took the chieftain's leg. Nice. Nicely done. Let's get some repairs on Steven. This guy does not want to give up, this chieftain. Look at him. Crawling around like... Did not want to give up. Okay. They just keep coming, these crabs. You just can't get rid of them. Oh, hello! Crab armor blueprints. Oh yeah, take all that. Got some crab limb uh, blueprints, med kits. Well, we can't leave any uh, anybody alive, so I'm gonna come in here and kill this this merchant. Kill them all. If we need crabs, we can recruit them just by throwing them in a cage. So I'm not worried about it. Maybe this will help cut down on the spawns a little bit, killing all these people. Okay, the thing is, is did we kill all the chieftains? Because that's really the, the thing that matters here. Wait, oh, here's a chest. Okay, we're going to have to rest outside. I think we looted everything in here. We got some blueprints, though. Definitely handy. This crab chieftain might die. He says he's in a recovery coma. But nobody heals him. He might die. Kind of want to see who's at this ancient oil rig down here. But we need to rest up. Let's try to get away from the town a little bit. Okay, it looks like this... Ancient oil rig is home of the uh, pirate brethren of the coast pirates. Let's go talk to them. I'll send Timothor in. See if they're friendly. You be a mermaid. <laughs> doesn't look like they're. Uh, it uh, doesn't look like they care about us. We got groggers in here. Oh, looks like there's some things we could steal. Maybe I'll send Silent in here. Kind of, I want to see what all this is. Oh, they have a shop and everything. Oh, these are the Corsairs. Uh, the Brig. And this is, uh, oh, King's Rising. Let's check that out first. We go. There's a pirate. It's not the leader, though. I like how they just have random pirates sitting in the throne. Like, who's the head head honcho? Here we go. Pirate king. Har har har. Who you be, me lady? Me laddy. <laughs> Ask away, what is this place? Tortuga, the pirate capital. Okay, so these guys want Blackbeard dead or alive. Okay. Then there is a crab queen. With her gone, we can take what is truly ours from them. Kill Blackbeard and crab queen. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad goal. That could further the Blood Prince's ambitions by helping them out. We'll se uh, secure an ally that will help us with the wars ahead. 
Are they uh, the same as the Corsairs? There's like two different factions here. Kind of want to see... Yeah, we gotta... See what they have for sale. Not bad. Some decent stuff around here. Um, oh, here's a guy here. Old Riley. Welcome to the Veterans Rest. Most popular spot for the veterans of the Corsairs to hang out. Can I have a mask? Prove yourself to the king first. You may get it one day. Old Ray Riley. Alright, so we have to basically... Got a goal there. Blackbeards are... They were up here, right? In the... Blackbeard's fortress, yeah. So we need to kill Blackbeard, and the Crab Queen is down here somewhere. Alright. Bounty collector. I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. Oh, we can turn in bounties here, too. Oops, out of bounds. Okay, my bad. Alright, well the Vandals are going to keep heading south then. But they're gonna probably start making their way west, back to uh, back to base. The Blood Prince and his squad are almost back to Castle Blood. King Mong has just reached Elder status, and uh, so yeah, it looks like he's at full potential now. Uh, attack 110, Strength 110, Dexterity 146. Wow. Yeah, he's a beast. Actually, his strength is 121, but it says 110 here. So Jamie's gonna deal with this black gorilla chasing the squad. Good lord, you're getting ripped. You're getting your ass beat, man. Corsair crafters are now hostile towards you. What? Why are they hostile? What the hell happened to us? What, what was going on over here? What the hell? I don't even know what happened. Why are they hostile? Okay, Jamie's getting his butt beat. He's gonna have to retreat back. I don't even know what happened. Uh, why did we get go hostile with them? Damn it, man. Hold on, now I gotta find out whether or not they're gonna attack us on sight over there. Alright, everybody kill this gorilla. Okay, meanwhile, back over here. What the heck happened? Alright, Silent, why don't you run back over to the... Over to Tortuga. I just wanna make sure that we're not... Okay, we're not at war with the Brethren of the Coast. So, maybe if we... Can I still talk to King? That's what I want to make sure of. Yeah, it looks like I can still talk to him. Well, shit. I don't know what happened. He must have just started attacking us for some reason. Yeah, the Corsair Crafter doesn't like us. Damn. Alright, well, whatever. We'll see if we can complete that mission anyway at some point. Alright, so you guys say build a ramp. Build a ramp so you can skip the acid. Well, we're gonna build one and go up it and go down this way. And I guess we'll just dismantle. See if we can run all the way across here and yeah, we'll just put a ramp well, actually, I don't think we'll be able to get all the way across, will we? Let me see. Go back down here. Walls. Ramp. Shit. Can't put a ramp over here. Okay, I can, I can put one on this side, though. Like, right there. Okay. Run back. <laughs> 
Everybody get on this side. There we go. Okay, now run down. No, Agnew, don't build it. All right, now go down the ramp over here, and we'll just swim right across. There we go. All right, yeah, that works. It's kind of a, a little bit of a pain just to have to go into the build menu, but hey. Oh, freak, I forgot uh, Benno. Come on, Benno. Get up there. Anybody else? No, we're good. Okay. All right, dismantle. Actually, I might just leave that ramp there. That way we can just come back down it. Yeah, so the, then the only one I have to do is just build one right here. And then we won't have to build this one. We'll just leave that there. Awesome. Alright, Matriarch, let's go ahead and put your prisoner in a prison cage here. There we go. We've got the Overseer. Didn't realize he's he's so tiny compared to the matriarch, <laughs> compared to Gnu. T Lord immediately going back to his job. Uh, I built a tent kit uh, tent kit maker over here, and I've got Storm with some some tent kits. So we'll be able to make more of uh, of those for. We'll, we'll need those, I guess, when we go on like a. When we send out our actual armies later on. So we're going to build a bunch of those. Uh, and then I also built a stockpile which makes scrap metal. And we need scrap metal to make this smithy scrap. So I need to actually get somebody over here. Let me get Victor over here. We're going to have the Blood Prince put down a camp bed here. And let's see if we can pick up King Mong and put him in there. And let's see if his blood goes higher. I don't think it will. I don't think it will regenerate faster. Okay, he's healing one blood for like every seven seconds, I believe. One blood every seven seconds. So then if we pick him up and take him off of that. And now let's see. Uh, saving about two seconds per blood. Maybe, maybe three seconds. So it is actually a little bit faster. It was just so hard to notice, I guess. Okay. So we'll pick him up then and we'll put him in bed. And hopefully he can regenerate his health a lot faster. Or his blood, rather. The other thing is I also have my sleeping bags. I have them set so that they heal a little bit faster. So I'm not waiting around too long. So that could also be one thing. The Vandals have made it outside of this, uh, I don't know, this town over here. Todai Dara. Not exactly sure what that building is. Azuchi Armor Shop. Okay, hold on a second. We actually might need to come in here. Here we go. Azuchi Armor Trader. Hi. Show me. Okay, this guy has all of the blueprints. All right, I got all the dark ones. Sweet. All right, we're down to 2,000. We're going to have to make some money. We really need to send... Yeah, we need to get this squad back to base. Because I need to send... Uh, uh, an expedition back to Hope so that we can send all those research books and stuff. Uh, back with them, along with some other things to sell so we can start making some money. I also want to... Uh, take a, a visit over to Black Desert City, maybe raid it if possible, or if not, raid it, maybe steal from them, or use a disguise to buy some robotic limbs. I don't know, we'll have to see what we can do there. Apparently there's some really good robotic limbs there um, that are added in Genesis that will really make the Blood Prince like, even more powerful. So we're going to have to keep going. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. You want to see more Kinchi and more of the Blood Prince. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. And I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.